Four years ago, I spoke to an airline company that had laid off more people than any industry because of 9-11. They brought their people that they have laid off, about 2,200 of them, to teach them soft skills. And they brought me in in the morning to share my story so they'll be inspired. And when I was done, the man in the back said, I have a comment. I said, yes, sir. He said, Albert, I don't agree with this. America is great. America is the best because I gave 19 years of my life to this company and they laid me off. So I don't buy that nonsense. He's used some good, colorful language. I said, sir, can I ask you a question? He said, what? I said, did your company offer you 19 years worth of paychecks? He said, yes. I said, sir, your company doesn't owe you a living. You owe yourself a living. What your company has done is offered you the vehicle for you to go and create your own. But you did it for 19 years. He sat on the same chair and did widgets the same way. And when the time came for him, that technology have taken over your position, can you do anything else? He's like, no. Don't make that same mistake, ladies and gentlemen. Prepare yourself. Put behind your name that CMP, whatever it is, get them all. I, as a professional speaker, I'm a CSP. Same thing. It's not easy. Lady told me yesterday, I want it, but it's so hard. Well, I'm glad why it's hard. Because if it was easy, everybody would be CMP. We would not be special. <laughs> Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself because, ladies and gentlemen, lifelong learning is the only way you will remain competitive in this job market. Period. The next one is relationships. If you're from a hotel, if you're from a city, we are all in this together to make that religious conference wow at the end of the day. When they go home and say, how was the conference? It was the best. That's all we're all aiming for, right? So we need to be together. We need each other more now than ever. 